Hello everyone, welcome back to Ultras. Please, Pacific Drive. What is happening? Oh, there's a transfer trunk in my way. Uh, I think... Okay. So, we've got a bit to do. Uh, I've been repairing my car, and I've noticed it, we've remembered, noticed, we knew already, that we need a new Olympus emitter, and we can't fix this. Uh, let, before we scrap it, though, let's make sure we can make a new one. Let's make a new one of these. And the other thing I think I'm going to want to do... Where are you? Hello? Lim Limpos? Lim? Pos? Lim? There it is. Ah, uh, cheap. Um, is... I've replaced uh, a door. This door here. This was unreliable, just like the other ones. Um, and the other thing we might want to replace is this. I was talking last time <clears throat> that the insulation from these headlights and these panels, in fact, will spread to the nearby components, right? So the, the principle was you should have sort of a, a variety of components shielding you from different things all over the car. Like, we've got armoured stuff everywhere. This doesn't need to be an armoured door as well as this, because they'll bend it. it's not going to be 100%. Like, this, having this as not an armoured door will not be as good as having it as an armoured door in terms of armour, but having it next to an armoured door and next to an insulated panel will mean that it gets both armour and insulation, so it can be a third thing. Now, I did just create this before I thought of all of that, but um, the principle applies to this bumper as well. So we're going to learn to make... Can we already make armoured bumpers? I don't think we can. Can we search this? No. Um, so let's see if we can learn that. I'm not sure if we're locked out of it at the moment. Uh, survival tools, lights, car, body, armoured... Doors... Armoured bumper, we can but unstable energy, which we have much of. Oops, pressing the wrong button. Uh, there it is. Look at that, please. Hopefully. We also have the materials to make one. I didn't realise how annoying this was, by the way. This, I think this is new. There was an update today. Well, there was an update recently. I downloaded it today. Um, but can you shut up? <laughs> Thank you. Well, I thought this was a cool free thing that we got. No. That's a, a broken old thing. So, armoured bumper. We can create... We're going through thermostat crystals, by the way, like they are going out of fashion. Um, so we should take this off. Now, we've got an armoured panel here. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. Maybe we should have used a lead-plated thing. I'm thinking I might want this to be lead-plated and this, this to be armoured. Uh, mostly because this hits things first. Mind out. Um, but that... Okay, now I'm a tank. Also, did that make the car actually heavier at the front? It might have done, I hope not. Because that's going to be harder to control. Uh, and you can live... Oh, I made this, by the way. It's a parts locker. <coughs> so each thing can hold one part, but you get loads of them. Uh, and it's outside. <laughs> I guess that's the most important thing. Like, I've got side storage in here and in here. I can't put both side storages in the same part, in the same locker. I've got an armored door in there. What are you doing? You've got one. Never mind. You live and learn, right? Uh, that can go in there. So we've got an insulated bumper ready for the future. We've got a new limp pulse emitter. We've got an old one that is going in the trash. Good day to you. I said good day. And then... The only thing we've got left to do is a little bit of 98% uh, repairing. I don't know what's left. I don't care. Pack survival tools, if you say so. Uh, I feel like we have everything we need. We've got a crowbar. We've got a vacuum cleaner. We've got the scrapper. We've got the impact hammer. We've got some flare gun left for some reason. We've got a bunch of flares left. We did want to make... Oh, we, we were given for free, weren't we? We got a free level 2 liberator. We've got a spare one of each. We've got so much stuff. We're we talking about pack survival tools. Uh, the only thing we might want to have available are perhaps um, the things like the ceiling kit. I think I want a mechanics kit, because if a wheel starts going wonky, that's going to be annoying, but if, well, if a wheel gets flat, it's going to be like, I don't know. Whatever. Everything else can suffer in its non-existent state. Uh, you go in there, you go in there. We've got most of what we need. We might as well fill this up. Real quick. What? <laughs> Stop being weird. You're full. How are you doing? You're full. Can I just leave this on the floor and it'll be there when I get back? I'm interested to know. Right, let's have a look at our route. Our route and see where we're going. Bloop bloop. Hello. Welcome to the game. 
We're going up here, we knew. Oh, this mouse is so slow in this menu. <laughs> Devs, please. Um, this is the, the mission. We don't have to do the mission, but we probably should do the mission. Um, this is going to involve going through here or through here. I think we decided that we should make it sort of a bit of a cakewalk and go through here today, because last time it was really difficult. Then again, it's been more than a week since I played this game, so I'm chill. Uh, and then the difference is, um, what's on the way? Let's scan it. Underground mischief. <laughs> Battery sapping. So that's going to require um, ways of recharging. Maybe pack a couple of jumper cables or two. We've already got two, so that's fine. Shocking speed. No thank you. Uh, that's the first one, so I don't know about that. Anomalous clouds. We've got a lot of things to learn. Unpredictable weather patterns. Cloud-related patterns at, at ground level. So maybe fog? I don't know. Uh, this one is more bunnies and more radiation, apparently. Um, and then in this direction, where the, we, we only have... We don't have much choice about how to get here, to be honest. Can we get through the... We can get through the wall from this one. Maybe we should have more options for how to get to places. These two are going to be wrecked all the time. It doesn't matter what we do. So we've got heavy fog. That's fine. I don't care about that. Intense radiation and corrosive waterways is going to require... We probably should have unlocked some lead plating. Um, and that's just going to hurt a lot, basically. Uh, virulent acid. Excuse me. Uh, okay. It just hurts more again. Perpetual stability in this one. I'm happy with that. So, um, I think we are going to go here. Pick one of those directions. But there's not much I can do to prepare for either of those directions, except to pack more electricity, which I don't really need to do. So, uh, yeah, let me finish off in a garage, make sure I've got everything that I wanted. Um, and then I'll see you when I get to somewhere interesting. I've elected to go through the unstable zone, because... I don't like shocking speed. <laughs> that is literally it. Shocking speed is the worst thing anyone's ever invented. Um, and so, hello. And has sound? Yeah. Uh, and I would very much rather not be involved in that sort of nonsense. More lore. Glad I came this way. Mailman number one. Oh. Phantom Squire. Steel panels. I think this is the end of something. I was telling you how I saw... I was watching Avak play, and... You know when we went along that runway and launched ourselves off the thing? He was doing something like that. And it ended up in a, a cache. And I think... It's like that, but set up in the road. But can remember the law said, stop messing around with these things. Uh, and basically, if you can... Shut up there. If you can uh, get to the start of this and belt it along the road as fast as you can in order to collect uh, excuse me, why is it going that way? <laughs> uh, you know, the, the pylons as they go past you will be rewarded for whatever's in that cache. Uh, don't drive on... These barriers do not work as you would anticipate. There it is. Ah, you, okay. No, it's a really, really big thing so you can't accidentally drive through that. Well, you can if you're paying very no attention. You can't tell a person who speaks a language natively or fluently that they're speaking the wrong, okay? It is such people as you and I, English speakers, who make these decisions, who, who form the language into what it is, good or bad, for better and for worse. Right, I need a, an afterburner, so let's get going. <laughs> Push, make the boost go. I could be thinking about getting a new engine, actually, couldn't I?
When Avak did it, he had uh, boulders to help. The fast going boulders. Well, these are quite generous in their timing, but also I'm wondering <laughs> how well I can make this drive. Oh, nearly failed it. Can't drive very fast, I'm noticing. Come on! Come on! Put the cookie down! Did you win? I think so. Oh, we did. We can get it now. We won some orange paint. <laughs> Again, I, I mention this a lot. The rewards in this game really need buffing, okay? I'm not excited enough to... I'm more excited by the story, which is why I'm still playing, than I am a, about the exploration and the rewards that you can get from doing so. So, I don't know if that's intentional. Like, maybe we're not supposed to loot goblin this thing to high hell like we're doing all the time. But, I want to, <laughs> and I'm not being rewarded for doing so. So, uh cater to me specifically, game, or I will be sad with you. Again, I'm collecting the limb, no idea if it's useful at this stage. I'm going through the second tier of limb. It's up, screwing up the door as well, uh, because I know that I need more of that type of limb than this type of limb, but I don't know. I don't know. I looked in the the sewing machine, by the way, to see what I could make for myself. And, and it would seem... Oh, there's two. That I would benefit from a lot more of those swamp coral. And there's a new type of resource that I've not found yet that is locking me from the second tier of... I forget what it was. It was either the insulation or... Um, the it's either electrical insulation or lead insulation, like um, radiation. But the second tier I can make, but not until I've done the first tier. So the insulated panel has taken a lot of damage from electricity. Again, I did this last time. I don't know if that's on purpose. Like, is it supposed to? It's insulated, and the why is this door bad? Maybe it's a quirk. <laughs> Maybe it's telling me when you open the door, the door opens. I don't know, actually. Is that a quirk? I just thought of something. Not that. What? Ah! Smeg off. Smegots. Um, I was wondering if it's because when I sat down, that activated, and if that activates, the door opens, but it's not that. Um, it could be a bug, <laughs> and if I reload, it will be fixed, because it started happening after I got in the car. It didn't happen the first time I got in the car in a garage. It happened when I got out, made some repair putty, and then got back in again. So I don't know if that's a quirk that developed whilst I was just sitting there on the parking lot, or whether it, I just started a bug that now won't stop. Well, open it. Leave it open and then try and get in. Also, the radio stopped because it's stupid. Well, that's my pry bar breaking, but it was neat. Uh, battery's going to be helpful. Uh, we're not going the battery draining way, actually, so not that helpful. Can't remember which way we are going. We're going the acid way, so fixing the car is going to be a thing. I don't know if acid contributes to anything except for damage. For example, it could contribute to the failure of the parts, as in making them unreliable. Um, I don't know. Could contribute to none of that sort of thing. What is lighting me up here? Is it me? I've got my side lights on. Whoops. Have I, is that a thing? I've not got any car this time, look. Uh, shift, shift does that. Again, could be a quirk. Accidentally, well, it could be a quirk of the car, or it could be a quirk of me. 
just being bad at stuff. Right, let's go and get this lore and listen to it. I don't know why it says log and I don't have it. After the multi stage evacuation of the Olympic Peninsula's 100,000 strong population, the records get sketchy. Once the region is swept clean of civilian eyes, the flow of information trickles to an eventual stop. Arda has always maintained that the evacuation was done in the name of national security, that there was simply nothing more patriotic than sacrificing your homes, with the communists plotting our demise across the Atlantic. Certainly not because there was any danger from the strange experiments happening in the sky, or situations most unnatural to witness. Arda kept a wide berth, displacing citizens far ahead of the front line. The first-hand accounts of things going awry were rare. But rumors spread fast, as everyone had some story about a distant relative whose pet changed in inexplicable ways, or a friend of a friend who followed strange lights into the woods and never returned. Once Whoa. The Arda employees moved in. That's why the armored bumper is on the front. Officials, support staff, and their families made the Olympic Exclusion Zone home, reaching anywhere from 300 to 1,000 in total at its peak. What any of them were doing in the zone was kept hush hush, but the population just outside the walls found the secrecy irresistible. Every shipment of raw material, out of season weather patterns, and inexplicable light or sound became the talk of the town for the first decade of the zone's existence. Spooky, spooky lights. We were learning about the history of the zone, but I don't have anything to say on the subject, to be honest. This is pretty much exactly what you might expect from such a... Such a we're seeing the aftermath of all of this. I'm, I'm not surprised by any of it government hush hush nobody here just a few people who have been here this whole time for some reason i guess i'll go over here don't worry about me oh you did it again look in don't know why Ooh. keep talking Oh, that's quick. Some thermal sense that has appeared by my house. So let's dive in and see how it turned out. Hmm. Hmm. The taste is reminiscent of a soft boiled egg. My stomach feels like I'm descending very, very quickly on an elevator. And not to be alarmist, uh, but I can no longer see anymore. Not in the traditional sense. Uh, I am currently. Oops. My grandmother baked oatmeal cookies when I was seven. All in all, though, I think that what we're calling the Royal City is a resounding success. Four with out of five, I'll make it a great. Until what is wrong with this guy? Something that I'm doing. Yep, when I turn the wheel to the right, it randomly fluctuates the volume. Look at that. <laughs> Brilliant. Just the volume, probably. Found a quirk. I can also spend a lot of limb, I think, if I want to just get it to tell me what part of the quirk is. And this might be a new quirk, so we might have three again. Don't forget that. Right, this place is no longer remotely stable. See? Get in the car. Get in the car. <laughs> so silly. Yeah, the door's open. Shut up. Whee. We are going this way. Right, so this will take us to the next... So It doesn't have to. We could go and unlock a new place in this uh, area. But I think I might do that off camera just, just to fill in the map. It's not going to be interesting. So you don't get to see it. <laughs> Basically. Sorry. Sorry, not sorry. So we could go here, is what I'm saying, which does lead to some of these places. Um, but I'm going to go here. Or here. Fuel evaporation. I think that's just you use more fuel. Yeah. We do avoid that. Do I avoid that? 
do I keep fuel evaporation or do I take it? Because we learned that we can siphon fuel. And there's only one condition here. And it does go to here. Yeah, let's do that. Seems better. It is A. It's the Scorch. Uh, it's a hot potato. Let's go here. Right, there's only one stability thing here. Fuel evaporation. Fine. The fact there's only one anchor here is a bit rude. <laughs> Being honest. I'm watching that needle. It is moving fast. Look at it. That fuel needle. I don't know what the thing to the left of the needle is, actually. What is that telling me? How much acceleration I'm under? Maybe. There's an anomaly here that we don't know, by the way. Keep your eyes peeled. We do want resources, and the resources that we want are the swamp coral. Hmm, what are you? Moldy balloon, what are you? Anomaly. Found it. Rotten egg. Whoa, excuse me. Sunshine. Don't get out. <laughs> Close the door. Although, to be fair, I should have these on me. I'm going to back up a little bit, as in a lot. Uh, and see if we can not get completely melted. And then do this. That was fun. Don't do that again. Let's go round, maybe. I think those balloons are creating the mold for the eggs. Just not something that is normally considered to happen. But. This is the way of the world in here. Right, we wanted to pay attention to our fuel. There's another one of those huge wagon wheel, water wheel, mill wheel things. It's so creepy that it just exists. I can't get over this thing. Maybe you don't feel the same way, but to me, that thing is just... It's so strange. We really should be, um... A C, not C. That's the correct thing to press. Like, it's been created for a reason. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, there's a lot of fuel in here. What? This is never this much fuel. That's amazing. Alright, give me this. And, and, and it's... It's not... Okay, that closed. There's definitely something weird going on with that door, and I don't think it's a bug. But I don't know what it is. Some state of the car will not let the door close. Look at the state of the car, by the way. <laughs> Speaking of which... Uh, when I'm not in radiation, I can try and repair it. I think I might have flat tires all over the place as well. It's a good thing I made. Yeah, I've got two. I turn a card. It's a good thing I made ceiling kits. Uh, I'm still in the radiation. Alright, not, not that then. Uh, I've got one ceiling kit. Can I make another? No, what do I need? More duct tape. Gosh, I hate you. She did it again. Why? I feel like it's... I, f I really feel like it's this, but it doesn't seem to be related. Is there anywhere that's not irradiated in this zone? Is this entire zone irradiated? Is that the danger of it? And now I need to go and find some more duct tape in goodness knows where. That's why you loot. I didn't, look, I didn't expect to get two flat tires, okay? Nobody does. More. More bloody balloons. Let's go in that way. Maybe we can just ignore it. Can we go around it? Just go quick. Ow. No, we can't. But I guess I'm going anyway because I'm already here. Excuse me. What is happening? Uh, 
I consider that to have been those uh, those bubblegum buggers, but I don't think that was the case. So I didn't need to bring my spotlights with me, did I? Because oh, look at that! There's another one. Can't you can't stop? Um, I don't need to bring my spotlights. It's light. It's daylight. Okay, look. I'm just going to get past it. Okay. I'm just going to survive. Not worry about it. And then if we can get anywhere where we can loot maybe some duct tape, we can sort that problem out. It is now safe to get out of the car, at least. So there's that. Let's go over here and see. What does this mean? Oxidized. Fixed ceiling kit. Yes, sod. <laughs> Can't move him? Oh, sh sugar. Get out of here. No, turn it on. You're close. What? It's unstable, not corrupted again, but that's fine. And it is in the area where we did previously find corrupted. We get out of the radiation with the car, sort of mission? No, whatever. Right. Well, actually, I'm not in radiation here. But... Oh, yeah, never mind. Oh, that's big. That's a big number. Run away. <laughs> Let me out. Oh, crikey. No! Dang it! <laughs> I had to left right to avoid the thing and then the thing and I got left right anyway. I mean, I got. Oh my god. Something else is interrupting me. It's not this left right storm. This storm is not a left right storm, by the way. There's another one right there, and only drove straight through it because I can't see. <laughs> yeah, this car is a mess. How's the radiation? Fine. How is the proximity to things that are trying to turn me into jelly? Fine. Maybe ruin this door forever. You really need it. There you go. Kind of counting on this place. So what is glooping? Is it just the area? Just the zone? Yeah, I'm counting on this area to give me what I need <laughs> to survive. Uh, putty? No. No can has putty. Plastic and chemicals. All right, let's go in. Let's see what we win. Plastic, chemicals, and duct tape, please. Got, you can stack them. What? Hang on. What? Does that mean I kind of been holding my spare on top of my not spare this whole time? I find that hard to believe. Oh, that one's knackered as well. Jeez Louise. Uh, repair party? No, still no chemicals. Okay. Well, you know, asking you shan't receive, I suppose. I like to think these generators have no value because half of them are broken and then I come along and break the other half and yet the things that are powered continue to work. Flares? Interesting. But no, thank you. What is this empty place empty for? Batteries. Oh, gosh. Not a single chemical. But the ones I would have used the transmuter to make something, uh, but the transmuters are not providing... Uh oh. <laughs> Time to leave. My front my bumper's gonna break. My 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 And we're about to go into a place of even higher instability. Right, uh turn the car on. Still got a flat tire. Guess we wanna uh, I'm gonna go forwards, because I wanna be on that road and turning right. We don't have far to go, so that's good. I can feel this I don't know if you can see. I don't know if the, it comes across in the video, but 
the way my input is not doing what I'm telling it to do feels ever... It's so visceral. It's like the rain that I was telling you about the other day. The, the weather. All these... And, and the way the boot slams. That's what I was saying. They've really outdone themselves with the actual... Sort of the, the immersion in sounds and, and, and controlling. and ugh. It really feels like I need to fix that tire right now. And I do. But I can't. Might be able to actually, but I'm not sticking around. Uh, I'm going to go through to the next place where there's extreme <laughs> conditions. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, I should be able to make. Should be able to make? I'm running away from the storm, which is slow. Do you know what? Now that I'm here, it's safe. No plungy things. There's a storm coming in, but we know how fast it is. Um, so that's fine. Can I make a ceiling? I can. Can I make a second? No. That's fine. Fix this dang tire. It's wrecked. Alright. Well, there's a reason we brought a flipping spare. Stick that where your sun don't shine. Right. Put this stuff away. Seal this, I suppose. There you go. Um, put this away. I'm actually going to keep that on me. So can I just do this? No. Fine. Suit yourself. Some things yes, some things no. That was a no. I really need to figure out this door thing. It's very annoying and it's definitely... A, I'm so convinced it's a quirk. It's just really annoying. Uh, I guess this is why we have quirks. Uh, we're here. Oh, okay, yeah. High instability, but we can go straight through it into perpetual stability. So that's fine. And there's a mission to do at the other end. It's been a mission to get there. Because that's why they call it that. Okay, right. Uh, Stabilisers. Okay. Puncture probability, burial acid, swift storm. Uh, we don't we don't want to leave from here. We want to actually leave. We're going straight through. Okay, we can just drive. Um, can we accelerate better, though? Maybe the, that's why we need a new engine. Um, pick up some of these... Probably should have just not bothered with that. Hang on. Uh, X. Maybe we don't bother with the looting that is in the gross. We do want um, lots of marshy stuff, by the way. So if you find any, same as last time, find any, let me know, okay? What is this? Nothing in here. You've made me use a charge of my crowbar. It bounced, but it didn't fail this time. Did you see that? It tried to fail, but it failed to fail. Uh, there's a second hut. Well, I'm not going to that. <laughs> it's swarming with awful. Something just locked onto me. Did you hear that? Was it this? I don't know. Yeah, there's lots of punctures going on in the ground, so watch yourself. Uh, we might have needed our side floodlights anyway. It's getting dark. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Be very, very careful. We can't make any more ceiling kits, okay? Might be a good idea to put into practice what I was saying last time regarding um, the what was I saying? It's parking far away from the limb and sucking up the damage of the the, the the radiation damage carrying it back so that we don't get an immediate penalty underneath our car which in this situation is liable to be punctures we don't want that. What is that? Oh, it's just a bubblegum buddy hanging out, not doing anything. Okay. Uh, did you hear this? the alarm go off? I didn't hear the alarm go off. Okay. 
park a bit away from it. There's a thing to not get stabbed by, so careful. There's the alarm. I saw the flipping storm before us, the alarm went off. Flip it, neck. This game. So extreme instability might actually be j j related to how fast the uh, storm comes in. Is that like? Might be. I'm really paranoid about per popping my tires. I brought stealing kits because of the problem with tires popping. That was, you know, foreshadowed. And it happened in the place where it was not supposed to happen. I mean, in theory, we could leave, set the storm up, and just go. Open the gate. But I don't think we're desperate, to be honest. Is that like a really steep hill? It might be. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to be able to get up there. Not from down here. How about you feck off? Do I look like I'm joking? When did I get all this battery? That's amazing. Not complaining. This I remember I, at the start of this level I was like, yeah, we just got to follow the road, and now I'm forgetting that and trying to drive off road. I don't think we can manage that. I don't think that's going to work. Except to get to places, obviously. I meant to, like, get out. Is this far enough away? Don't know. We'll find out. Shut the door. That door's opened itself. What is happening with the doors? Something is changing the doors. At random. Did you just pop my tires? No. What happened there? What was that noise? There's nothing there. So confused. I'm very confused, Ted. Duct tape is going to help. How do we get back up here? Well, something's flying like, through the sky. See that movement? I'm not going over there. <laughs> Unless it's full of chemicals, I am not interested. What I'm interested in is what these symbols on the map mean. Oh look, it's like a... Seattle. That's very dangerous considering how many anomalies there are those burst the heck out my tires. Oh, it's one of these places. Nothing good in it? Turn it on. <laughs> Was that a bad thing to do? Maybe. Close it, please. Thank you. I'm not sure what that did. It hasn't stopped the storm. Nothing's stable. This is not a good idea. Pick it up. Probably should be leaving. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm getting all this limb. That's what I'm doing. Should I? Oh my god. It's coming in fast. It's coming right for us. Let's, uh, let's go. Should be able to just go down here. Please don't pop my tyres. So yeah, left, right. Avoid the left, right. Stop it. Do you think a limb pulse can stop the left, right effect whilst I'm in it? It's possible, you know. We're going to rely on it, but it might be. Oh, jeez. Um, that's a problem. <laughs> Better go around this. Okie dokie. Even though the red storm is incredible. Oh, it's not that bad. Give me a I just walk and then teleport my car, right? It uses a lot of battery, I think. It's not. Oh, look at that. This could not have come at a better time. 
Don't know why it has to be a left right in it though. <laughs> what is happening? This is a good way to find out if the left right can, uh, can be cancelled. Put it in drive. Okay, we're in the red storm. I don't want to be in the red storm. I also don't want to be left righted. Okay. Oh, I'll be scared, actually. That took longer than I would like to repair. At least we're on this side of the road. The barrier that stops us leaving. It's fine. <laughs> it's literally being deleted. Look at that. That's the resonate in front of us. Please drive faster. I think I'll upgrade my engine when we get home. Boom. Petrol stability is a sight for sore eyes. Water makes your car more conductive. Interesting. What are we doing here? Perpetual stability. We're good. Are you going to tell me what to do while we're here, you bozos? We are going across the way. There's three... Three limbs. I think we just... Ignore them for now. Oh, we're going through. Hmm. Maybe we don't ignore them for now. Let's see what the other thing is. We won't get all of them. I think it might... Does it... Uh oh. You know, I, I, I remember Hello. Red Metal like it was yesterday. You up to your eyeballs and paperwork? Francis coated in chalk dust from the blackboards. You mistaking my lab notes for trash pile and throwing away weeks of work? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it'd be nice to see it again. They bulldoze that facility to the ground. There's nothing left to reminisce about. We'll see. With these anomalies, I would not be surprised if something like that was miraculously undone. Pulling a version of the facility from another timeline. Or something. Looking for some cars. I might have even passed them without realising, because I forgot that I was looking for them. Um, but siphon some fuel from them. Oh, I hear it. There it is. I'll get one or two. I suppose. Drive past it and then go back for it. That's my plan here. No cars. Fuel on the ground. Yeah, look at that spinning. It's keeping me charged. Woo! I like the clappers. Also, you can put your face in it and it doesn't hurt. Do you ever regret all this? From the very second I heard your voice coming through my speakers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, everything that happened here. Handing over Lynn. The way the project ended. It, it comes to hell. Alan. So are you. You chose your urban legends over everything else. Did you wonder if I regret it? Oh, I have no interest in regret. I want to know if you ever felt that leaving was a real. These are abductors, which is fine. After everything I've seen and heard and felt here. Go across country because no, of the spikes. Not a chance. Then we have that in common. Have a quick look across the other side of the hill in case there's more spikes and no more spikes. We are not equipped for spikes. Not anymore. <laughs> Hello. We don't need this. 
It's kind of weird that it's an unstable anchor, but the whole point of it is for stability. Like, what sort of message are you sending? That was definitely a bug. So I'm wondering if the whole thing is a bug. Oh. wonder if the whole door thing is a bug, because I just got into a closed door. Um, I think the game was confused about what state the door should be in. Possibly because of the way I got out near... I don't know. It's confused. We'll fix the other quirk that I've already forgotten. What was it? don't remember. Bang. So give me a few moments of trying to remember what the heck the other quirk was. This was not bulldozed, by the way. This is an unbulldozed place that is standing. Well, actually, it looks like the remnants of an explosion rather than a bulldoze. How's Francis? He's, um, he hasn't left the bedroom. I'm sorry. Oops. You didn't know about his demotion. It wasn't my secret to tell. It's fine. This is between him and There is a facility. I we can loot that. I'm trying to remember what the quirk was. <laughs> Not being able to stop on the uh, wet, apparently, is one. That I found when I set out. Ooh. Could take this tire, couldn't I? Because I do need a spare tire. It's flat, but we can deal with that. They're all flat. Yep. Yeah. It's okay. Uh, Armoured panel. Hmm. I need an armoured door. We can fix flat at some point. Yeah, that door's broken. But I could, like, replace this. It's about to go anyway. I'll leave it. Um, we'll come back if it does break. But yeah, now I'm racking my brains for the nature of the... <laughs> I don't want to go back in the video to look at what it was um, and then keep recording that seems silly but I might do it's no longer annoying oh it's a radio wasn't it yeah okay I remember I have memory I'm capable I'm also going to leave that last anchor in case it brings the storm in on us I don't 100% understand the rules of that um, and we don't need that much extra, so let's leave it for now. Steel panel, armor door, armor panel. Excuse me. Unreliable. Was that you? Um. Okay, fine. That's this, right? Loss. So, uh, well, well, what did Alan tell you about his wife? He was second in command of Dr. Case Lab yesterday. Alan didn't discuss his work with me, nor did I share mine with him. Anyway, you were head of the whole stinking department. You he must have known something about what their lab was doing. Uh, if there was anything useful to be found, I'd have sussed it out already. Well, that's all I did after the accident. Tried and failed to find any answers. At least they're civil now. I didn't like the argument they had the other... a few episodes ago. And Mummy and Daddy were fighting, and it was... It was bad for everybody, okay? I'm not here willingly, just like a child whose parents are fighting, so... 
Can we all just get along while we try and figure out how to deal with this situation? I wonder if this is going to resolve or if we're just going to leave and the problem will persist forever. Like we just we get to find a way out instead of <laughs> fixing the fact that the entire Olympic Peninsula is just being turned inside out by otherworldly forces. Excuse me. This side. You. Uh, none of that was chemicals, I think. Dr. K's access records were coded to the lab that used to be here. I'm feeling less optimistic by the second. Not a scour this place clean. Uh, something's here. We just can't see it. Oh, following a hunch. <laughs> Not your usual MO, Oppie. No, but being suspicious of Arda is. Okay. That is a wrecked battery. Why are these research facilities always so massive? You know, why, like, mm. is this another wall? Is this the wall into the next zone? Oh, that would make sense, actually. It does have the wall vibes to it. It's got the same stuff in it, but... You know, they've always got these pipes and weird pools of water. It's like Black Mesa all over again. You don't need this much space. You're not doing this much stuff, surely. Well, what, is, what are these pipes carrying? Just build a big lump of concrete and fill it with more concrete and then you'll have erected a suitable barrier for the sorts of horrors that are on the other side of it. We don't need facilities inside walls. We need more protection. Ooh, an old. We'll go through the old. Stop zapping me, please. Thank you. Whoa, a trying to hang on to it. Where, where are you going? There should have been the end of the facility. It's not. According to the blueprints, anyway. It's all in the wall, and I'm going in it. Found it. Security protocol activated. Scan Arda's security credentials immediately. Uh, Oppie? something now. Driver, anything you find down there, scan and transmit it back to us. We'll work on disengaging the security protocol. Yes, please do, because I am not supposed to be here, and that... that well, <laughs> it's the security protocol, do you understand? Uh, so, I, I, I'm the target of a security protocol, and this is the sort of place that has very terminal security protocols. I am definitely worried about it. Why am I constantly being zapped? There's nothing here. Why am I... Why is there nothing to scan? Show me stuff. About this. Wait. Yoink. Oh, more things to read. It's law galore. Okay, here's something. This thing in the deep zone, they called it the well. Oh, fantastic. Oh, well. Tobias, run those reports through the decryptor and see what you can find. More stuff? Yeah. Oh, you'll like this, Tobias. Your remnant origin story, if you will. So let me guess. You're about to ruin a good urban legend with a bunch of science. <laughs> Fine, I'll read this one myself. Nice hey. work, driver. We'll review these and summarize our findings after. Not going to dump the lore on me because Tobias objected. I want to know. Taking origin stories out of the... The viewers want it. The public demands satisfaction. What is that? That looks like the thing that the alien came out of in Prometheus. What are you doing?
Oh, maybe I can read it. Maybe it will tell me at the end of it. What about these diagrams, though? It looks like he was trying to convey something. You can admire the doctor's newfound art skills all you want. You won't find anything useful in them. It'll be a diagram when we do the law dump? What is that? It's a cross between Prometheus and Soma, which itself is kind of a cross between Prometheus and more Prometheus. This is a decrypted record of the accident. Oh, that's it. I hope we can read all these. I'm interested. Ladder? We use ladders? No? <laughs> That's rude. There exists a ladder, but we cannot use it because the game hasn't implemented it. Luckily, we could just do this. Stuff. What? The longer I'm in here, the more these are manifesting. What happens if we stay? Then we leave and they go? What is happening? I'm so perplexed and yet it's intriguing. I think they're still there, whether I'm there or not. They just come and go at weird intervals. Okay. Drive to the stabilised access road. It's possible that the way we came in is... It could actually be the way we came in. So, I guess we'll see. Because this is the... No, this is the stabilised exit. Okay, fine. See ya. And now we need to go to the next zone, which hopefully... I know, I know nothing about the next zone. I didn't know there was going to be one. So, we don't know if we're going to get, you know, ganked by it, basically. I guess I'm getting zapped. I'd rather get zapped than acided at this point. Got a lot to fix when we get home. We can do the thing, actually, now, where we start making new stuff and putting the old stuff in the repairing machine, because there's a lot of things to repair. And we want to... Ah! I keep saying we should have one set of stuff in the machine and one set of stuff on the car but what if we just swapped out the, the resistances of the devices so that we always had some of each type where are we going? here I guess uh, battery farm okay right let's have a look at this place we can leave whenever we want we might as well collect some juice and go. Don't know what's here. Document one data. Okay, we'll play it. Driver, you hit the jackpot. We've got a lead on what you're heading toward in the deep zone. Tobias, give us the rundown about the well. Auto classified it as a hot spot of ultra high energy gamma radiation. Its eruptions were spontaneous and ultimately Auto made no conclusion of what caused it, when it would blow. How destructive it would be. Otter, of course, wanted to control this bottomless well of energy. So they brought in Dr. K and Allen to research activation and containment. They discovered a way to reliably trigger the well, and that was the remnants. And that's what the remnants have been leading people towards. The well. Oh. This second report's a good one. Ready to hear where the 
remnants came from? The original remnants were created in Dr. K's lab. They aimed to create a trigger for activating the well. By fusing objects with a carefully calibrated limb wave, the ones that shared a resonant frequency would... Yeah, yeah, just get to the good stuff. <sighs> you bah. know, you'd be a much better ghost hunter if it weren't for that unfortunate attention span. Reading this makes it obvious how the remnants ended up in the wild. Wait, wait, what, what, what? How? The gamma ray surge that caused the mass hallucination event. That energy irradiated everything within a 10-mile radius. Objects with the right characteristics absorbed that energy and became the remnants nice. people found out in the zone. Wow. Francis would get a kick out of that one. <laughs> uh, I'll tell him later. I'm not sure what we need to unlock the limb, the, the lead. I've reviewed Dr. K's lab notes. Hmm. Now we know what he was doing in that we'll lab after the accident. Spinning in circles for years. His injuries were real. Dr. K's radiation exposure should have been fatal. And the minute he could stand on his feet again, Otto shuttled him right back to his lab and bid the monkey to dance. They allowed him to carry on in the hopes that he would reproduce anything useful. He worked for two whole years before they quietly retired him from his post. I'm sorry, we scrambled your brain. Here's your pension. Bye. Yeah, that sounds like the government. More. You Brilliant. Have that accident record ready, Tobias. It's time. All these okay, punctures then. waiting to happen. September 14, 1961. Otis finalized report on what happened that night. Dr. K and Alan were testing the activation potential of lab-created remnants. That night was a run-of-the-mill remnant test. Nothing out of the ordinary. Besides the The remnant in question was a tungsten cube. At 3.23 a.m., the cube was brought towards the well. The well reacted at nominal levels. However, at the 500 meter distance, the cube was sucked into the well and triggered the gamma ray surge. The energy output continued ramping up, and at 15 seconds, Show no signs of stopping. Then, Alan. Go on. I can handle it. Dr. K testified that Alan engaged the suppression protocol and the kill switch, both of which failed. Dr. K ordered Alan to get to safety, but Alan. Alan insisted on staying at the controls. Only when he flipped the radiation ah. polarity did the energy output plateau. And collapsed back into itself. Ellen's gamma radiation exposure was fatal due to his proximity to the well. If it weren't for him, the entire zone might have gone under. That's who Alan was. Loyal until the very end. I'm sorry, Oppie. I'd expect nothing less from him. Oi! <laughs> Rude. Keep going. Once that car gets to the well, we can expect another gamma ray eruption. We'll need a way to cut it off. And I may have found the answer in Alan's lab notes. His work on that suppression technique is... was... top notch. What's interesting is Dr. K and Alan didn't know any more than we do now. They had Nothing no here. conclusions about what the Let well is. Oh, scoop out sorry, a major sure. amount of gamma radiation. Maybe they trigger an eruption that we can't stop and will destroy the zone if we get it too close. That's a hell of a rage. Let's stay. What are we going to do? We keep going. Uh, but if it's an eruption... I already sacrificed the Olympic Peninsula once for limb tech. How many chances for total and utter fallout does a girl get in her life, huh? <laughs> in another life, we would have made a fantastic team. In no universe would I not have murdered you in your sleep. <laughs> Seems to the right one. There's no tape, is there? No. Right, let's just go and get this limb and then leave. At this point, once we've opened the gate, I kind of don't care if we get our tires popped to shreds. We just want to get home. What's that railway again? When we get home. 
get repaired, read the lore that we've collected along the way. The real game is the lore we met along the way. And then uh, I can edit the episode and you can watch it. Right, let's have a look. Turn around. Right eyes. Stop that, please. I do enjoy that the wipers get rid of the goo. Oh, jeez, no. Mistake. I would like to see this one open, please. Over there. Crash. <laughs> We're going to be making some new pieces for this guy, I'll tell you that for free. I don't understand what those stability towers are for. Every time I've used them, either during a mission or not, it's made the place unstable. Okay. <laughs> Nearly finished the episode and you're scaring me. Got to warn someone if you're going to creep up behind them like that. Unless you intended that reaction, which is fine, I suppose. Uh, yeah, what are the what are the stability towers for? We just turn them on. And then the place gets worse. Why are they called that? We should look it up. There's probably a lot of information on the internet, huh? People have worked this out. I don't want to hit myself with spoilers. Let's look it up when we've sort of got through the the majority of the game. Yeah, don't worry about vehicle protection compromise. I'm leaving. There's no radiation right in the middle. Did you see that? I thought there would be. Return to the auto shop after recovering the Arda data, hidden in the whatever it was. I mean, it's just part of the game. I Now I think about it, I know that um, game studios, they use these achievements to gauge how far through the games people actually play. 12 unstable limp, that's brilliant. Brilliant on that. Except for the issue of the old wall. Right, yeah. Uh, you got some so, idea up your sleeve, huh? This is a mess. <laughs> is that how you think it works? That scientists can't trump genius at will. Well, yeah. Do you? <laughs> In this case, I do. But don't expect it to work like that every time. We've got a spare battery. Driver, the quarantine checkpoints will be the best mm -hmm. way through the old wall. But they're death traps in their own right. But I designed something to help. Check out the blueprints I sent over. Okay. What did she say? Pick up blueprint from office new machine. Okay. Nice. Bit more bit more to do before the end of the day. Yeah. What is it? 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 Limb shield. Ooh. The old anomalies took up residence in the crossing points. It's not enough to have a shield. The shield itself needs to be shielded. The energy drain on that shield is massive. It won't last you more than five seconds. Yes, and? You'll need to recharge on this. the go, but the deep zone's grid is completely dark. You know, what if we could reroute nope. our power into the deep zone? But we'd need to jumpstart the network somehow. Put it in the thing. That car is basically the world's most overpowered electromagnet on wheels. The driver induces a current, then you open the electrical floodgates. And they'd have what? to induce the current the entire way through the old wall while making the crossing and maintaining speed. I don't know what to tell you. If you don't believe the driver and that car's got what it takes by now, then go back to hunting ghosts. We've got a job to do here. Thank this you, Lockie. could work. Are you in, Francis? I, I, I don't know. Look, we have a real chance of losing everything at the old wall. I'd like to not fail this far along. How can we know this will work? don't. That's how science works. We form a theory, and we test it, and we fail, and fail, and fail, and only sometimes do we succeed. Come on, Francis. Please? Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> All right. The team is assembled. Nice work on that limb shield driver. We'll have the power grid prepped by the time you reach the old wall. You better. All right. Uh, let's... I, uh, I saved this for when they were finished talking, just to see. What is... Is that charged? If you like. Chemicals. 
what is in this thing? How much there is? What is this? Off white paint. What is this paint? Tell me. Okay, don't. Uh, okay, we'll joint that. And while I'm thinking about it, yeah, it's still on the ground. Nice. Uh, we'll use this. And we'll use this. So I wanted to learn. Um, whoop, hello. Oh, that's broken forever. Oh well. Uh, we're going to learn leaded panels. Look at that. So let's go and do that. Let's see what it costs at least. Uh, our body. Lead plated bumper. Insulated bumper. There's two levels of that. Shut up with that noise. That's really annoying. Lead plated panel. Easy. All right. And lead plated door, I guess, is the other thing. Yeah. Let's learn all of these bits then. Oops. Um, and then we at least have the option to, you know, make them. Now, when the insulated bits get broken, like they already have, we can swap them. Fine, shut up. This is making noises in this flipping place. Uh, what? That way. Pressurized can't. Okay. Um, let's get rid of this. And this. We don't need that paint. And then we'll do the law dump. So again, if you are not interested in that, you don't have to be. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope that you've enjoyed the episode. I hope that you are following along. Getting look, the whole point of this game is the law. So if you don't want to watch the law dump, then why are you here? Um, but if you don't want to watch the law dump, bye. Uh, and then for everybody else, here we go. News flash: Seattle, August seventeenth, nineteen sixty-nine. Air quality continues to suffer today as a result of ongoing forest fires raging through the Olympic Peninsula. That's us. Despite growing concerns from the state officials, ARDA have refused to grant firefighters access to the to the to the to the grand. Right, let's shut that up. Um, I'll do this stuff off camera. You know how it is. Apart from if they're talking to me, maybe I suppose. Uh, and logbook. Go stabilizer. Sometimes you'll look upon a stabilizer. While you're out on the drive, when you find one, you can activate it to open a gateway without needing to charge your arc device. Remember that gateways are accompanied by storm activity. Don't throw the switch unless you're prepared to run for your life. It opened a gateway, but it didn't tell me. I didn't know that. Where was that? I didn't see a gateway. I'll have a look at the footage. I'll go back. And now that we know what that does. Why is it called a stabilizer if it opens a gateway and destabilizes everything? Anyway, um, we know about that now. So we don't need to Google it. Rotten Egg. Transmission Fragment Arda Field Headquarters. March 14th, 1967. Jim, I'm at my wit's end here. The guys are giving me a stupid. They're idiots. 23 years in the army and I swear to God we're at our lowest point. No, you listen to me. They cannot be out here touching everything they come across. You rule. Assume everything is acid. Everything. Oh, is that right? You think I haven't heard that word before? Listen, my first deployment was Italy. I was fighting hand-to-hand -hand in Monte Cassino a week after I arrived. You know where I was before that? I was in a goddamn camp on McNeil. Guys like you shipped me and my family to a camp in Washington because you thought we could we would turn against our own damn country. 23 years. I'm not going to die back in this stupid state because some pimpled private doesn't listen because you are not briefing your soldiers. Now, you sort this out and you sort it out today. Or I take this all the way to the top. And if you think men who look like me... Don't complain. I'll show you just how far this can go. One of us has a bronze star, and one of us has a plywood desk. Sort out your battalion, and don't you ever, ever dare question my loyalty to this service or to this country ever again. That guy's pissed. Blueprint. This rough diagram provides all the instructions you need to assemble a new invention. Please note that you may be the first and also only person to test this device. That's a point. Did, when the blueprint comes out of the thing, let's learn something. People who aren't watching the law aren't going to know we learned something. How do I actually scan the blueprint that you get as a result of doing this? Junction restabilize. Advanced antenna. Limb magnet. We haven't, oh, we've not read this. Uh, right. Plasma scrap. Interesting. I feel it's fury. You can learn the Liberator Mark II now. 
uh, we can also learn sight. What? We have side floodlights. Oh no, those were gifted to us by the by the place. Bio headlight. Oh, I want an engine actually. Let's look at engine. Amp engine. In the distant past, many early cars were electric. Then, so this is gonna use power to give us a huge amount of horsepower. Nine miles per gallon. <laughs> We have got a better engine as well, by the way. I don't want to do that because I don't think we can do that. I, I like this idea of this resource radar, actually. Resource radar. Better than the side floodlights. I'm going to make that. I'm going to make this thing. And what I haven't done yet is necessarily... Oh, I have looked at it. Yeah. Okay, well, now we know. I want that anyway. Uh, that sounds good. Back to the logbook. Arda Phenomenon Report. Property of Arda. Highly classified. We can't read it. Classified Arda research material found inside Red Murder facility. Classified Arda. Classified Arda. They're not going to tell me what it said. I don't believe it. Doors. Insulated door. Consumer feedback has consistently shown that humans respond poorly to electrocution. Based on their sentiments and or the smell of charred flesh, this door has been developed to minimise their discomfort. Lead plated door. Say no to radiation with a thick coat of sombre stoic lead. While this can't stop all high energy particles outright, it will provide improved short term protection. Lead plated panel. The addition of heavy lead layering reduces the damage and decay caused by overexcited radioactive particles. This won't make anyone impervious. But it will make them safer. And utilities, resource radar, which we just learned. This savvy device may seem cheap and crude, but it's precisely calibrated to detect nearby resources and raw materials. It also goes on the top. So it would not replace our floodlight at all, but we can only have four things, right? In that we can press buttons for. Blown out. It's in tatters. This tire's useful life has come to the most dramatic end. No amount of ceiling will fix this irreparable mess, but perhaps you might be able to scrap it for one or two spare parts. Or not. Feeling drained? Oxidized. Feeling drained? This battery is running dry faster than it should, thanks to oxidization. This could be due to damage, a faulty connection, or some strange anomaly. Regardless, it will need fixing. Which you can fix. Swollen. This battery is bulging. Time, overuse, or damage have affected the chemical reactions that happen in this battery. Whether it's gas, moisture, or both, too much of an unwanted byproduct is built up. A replacement is in order before things get worse. No fix. Parts lockers. I unlocked this, but didn't tell you about it. Store a parts per locker in this grid to make tripping over discarded bumpers and stubbing your toes on spare tyres a thing of the past. Here are ornaments. We've got a new one. Money Wizard. Play the game, Gary. We've got the D20, that's better. Uh, okay, anomaly studies, number five. Ardicat Ref 411. These long, thin, ice-like anomalies were found in clusters on trees and overhangs throughout the early 70s. Responsible for the majority of anomaly-related injuries at that time, they would cause serious contact burns and were easily dislodged by wind or movement. They were present during all types of weather, and if disturbed or manipulated, would quickly dissolve away into nothingness. None have been reported since 1975. And the mailman, we learned about... Got them. Oh, we had number three already. There is evidence for continued network degradation and or interference. Of 607 packages received this week, seven arrived late in a fashion that cannot be explained. Four packages were sent exactly one year earlier. However, these packages had been already received, meaning these were duplicates of some kind. Three packages were mistakenly dated. They were stamped with a date exactly one year in the future and contained messages irrelevant to their recipients or current events. I can only conclude that these were pranks of some sort and will, uh, and will append these to my report about misuse of our sensitive and most vital infrastructure. <laughs> Bet they were actually the future. Okay, that is the end of the law. Thank you for watching. Next time. What are we going to do next time? Where do you want me to go? I don't know. My mission is to prepare for the crossing. Store items for your drive in the car trunk. Oh. Store items for my drive in the... Why wouldn't I just put it on the car like I'm supposed to?
reached the first crossing point. Now we have a space. This one. Right, so we are going to go through to the big zone, and next time, or at least we're going to learn about it next time, we have to go to here. I assume we can just go straight from here. We haven't learned about this exit yet, so I don't know if we have to go here first. Because we followed this, this is where we would just, this is where we just were. But we didn't know about this place, and therefore we didn't know we could get from here. Oh, it's complicated. Um, might unlock a few things off camera. Might as well get my uh, limpulse emitter back. Put that on. Probably going to be swapping it out on the road instead of now when it would be sensible to do so. Might as well scrap this door. I'm going to do this sort of thing off camera. Um, we can make a leaded door for this place, perhaps. Um, and I'll say, yeah, thank you for watching. And I hope that you've enjoyed. And I hope you'll see me. I hope that I'll see you. You'll see me. We'll see each other next time. Did I turn the car off? Probably not. Do I ever? No. Um, no, it's doing it again. And I'll, I'll, I'll reload the game and see if that's a, a weird thing. Or if it's just... Oh, ah, n n uh, hold on. You want to see me fix this? Told you. Right. Uh, wheel. Steering wheel. Oops. Give me that. Come back. Steering wheel. Goes, stays turning. No, it was definitely to the right. Because it didn't do it at all to the left. Goes right. Radio. Changes volume. Yeah. Fixes. Six. Mechanics kit. We fixed the thing that means that we couldn't hear the people talking nonsense. So let's get that done. And I've got an assembly to fix now. There's definitely something wrong with that door. Um, I, I can't really even talk at the same time. There we go. Um, but that'll be it. I'm, I'm done. Good, good day. Thank you for watching. See you again. Bye. See ya.